hey guys welcome how are you doing today this hair is hurting my eyes it's tickling my eyelids and making them have pain today guys we're just going to be working on some cutscene artwork for once upon a coma we are finishing up the game and uh, I'm kind of scrambling to get some artwork done for the uh, final sequence of the game so if you guys don't want spoilers <laughs> Don't watch the video. <laughs> 1,000 pixels radius selection. So pretty big window here of a man at a desk. And the window is sort of gonna outline. Yeah, like this. It's gonna outline our man. I'm not gonna say who the man is. Why would I tell you who the man is? I'm gonna try and not spoil as much as I can here. It needs to be pretty big because I don't want it to feel small which is the dumbest explanation I've ever had for anything in my life, but that is the reason why we're gonna make it not too big and not too small. Just like the size of my car. Okay, So there is his window. Now here's the thing about windows, guys. Windows sucks, that's kinda why I use a Mac. But ouch! How we doing in the chat? I'm gonna open up the chat. If you guys have any thoughts, let me know. Do you think it's hard to be a game developer in Serbia? I have no idea. I, have, I don't know what Serbia is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know what Serbia is. What I mean is I've never been to Serbia, so I have no idea. What do I do other than making games? I make videos for YouTube. YouTube is a good way to supplement the studio while I finish games. Ugh, I also work out. I love working out. I started getting into CrossFit. Well, it's, it's what the YMCA offers. It's an alternative. It's called Beast Mode. I've gotten into that, and it's kind of culty, but it's fun. Now, guys, I'm about to do something that's going to frustrate you. It's, some of you are going to think it's immature. Some of you are going to think that it's not good to do in front of people because you're supposed to set an example. But when I'm stressed, a.k.a. during a launch, which is what we're in, I sometimes, sometimes, um, what are the kids calling it nowadays? Sometimes vape. And guys, let me, let me be honest. Launching a game is super stressful. It is not easy. So if I vape during this video, you can judge me, but don't judge me. Let's just pretend this guy is Donald Trump and he likes the glitz and the glam. Give me that glitz, give me that glam. So we flipped that, now we've got a diamond shape. See that, look at that, Thomas. Thomas is smart. Ooh. Part of me wants his chair to be like towering over him. Let's exaggerate it, let's go a little Tim Burton here. Today I cried about the story of this game for the first time. I haven't had that opportunity yet. Usually if I don't cry when I'm making a, like a project, if I don't cry about the plot, that means that I haven't done my job. And so I got really worried because I was like, something's wrong with the story. It's not fully there yet. And then uh, then I cried about it. You know, it looks like he's got spears coming out of his shoulders and we don't want <laughs> that. So let's just, let's take, let's, let's uh, disregard everything that I just said about being Tim Burton style. There we go. There's his Mr. Chair. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so there's his desk. So all you gotta do to make this look a little bit more detailed is just add a little top here. There we go. And then you can just create little arches in it to make it look like uh, there are, what am I trying to say here? Um, legs. See this? So you make your selection and then you're just gonna cut it out. Cut it out of that desk. Watch this. Boom. Oh, very nice. Want to do another one? Boom. We'll um, do it right here as well. Boom. Oh, very nice. Thomas, you're doing a good job today. While this loads, I'm going to tell you a story. So we launched alpha testing for this game, and uh, it's gone really well. Um, the thing is, is that when you alpha test a game, um, you're going to get like thousands and thousands of bugs reported 
and uh, that happened. We have plenty of things to fix, but that's okay. And uh, it's really, it is really a challenging time when you do an alpha test because you're launching a game, a version of the game that you know sucks. But you know, you in your head, you know that the game is going to be good because you have all these things that you're going to be working on. Um, but it's uh, <laughs> it can wear you down emotionally because you get a lot of comments about the game and things that you, people really want changed, and I'm grateful for them for sure. But they're also challenging to. Hear. I think he's gonna have a typewriter. Let me show you guys a quick way to make a typewriter. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. All you're gonna do is add some vibrances to it. So there's a vibrancy here, and then a shadow in the opposite direction. And then guys, watch this. You're gonna love this. Flip it this way. There we go. It's a different kind of arc. See that? And then convert it to a smart object. Flip it back this way. Almost there. Skew. And then it just goes behind the typewriter. There we go. Looks a little shit. There we go. It's got a little Kleenex box or <laughs> typewriter, whichever one you prefer. Let's go ahead and do my little specialty here. You're gonna love it, I promise. Here we go. I don't think that's what we wanted to do. Let's try an inverse. My brain can't mathematically figure out what I'm trying to achieve here. Sweet, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. So now we have some detail around the rim of that uh, window frame, which was the goal. That's what we wanted to do. Hey, 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 it looks good, okay. Anything else, Thomas? Clock on the wall here. Visual hints about the storyline. That's the goal. It's kind of like a built-in clock in his window. It's really, honestly, guys, it's why I like to make abstract cerebral games because you can get away with a lot of this kind of stuff. Yeah, the clock does kind of look like a moon. Hey, why don't we do that? Y'all want to put the moon there like this? Hey, can we give a round of applause to Vision of Empire for giving me an idea? That's awesome. Look how cool that looks, fellas. Look how sweet and aesthetic that is. Let's add a little outer glow. Oh, I love it. We forgot to add that one clue here. So let's open up Dr. Smile here. Okay, seriously, if you do not want spoilers, stop watching. I promise you, you're gonna wanna stop watching. There he is. <laughs> Perfect. Man, that almost looks like we don't need to do anything with it. I love visual storytelling. It's my favorite type of storytelling. Visual and auditory storytelling, as opposed to saying actual words, I wanna communicate with visuals. Watch out. Here comes the spoilers. Look at that. And you know, I'm not sure there's anything else we need to do. I do kinda of want it straight it kind of doesn't fit his personality to not have it straight but what does fit his personality is it being cracked does that look good nope <laughs> looks terrible we're gonna save that though and not worry about it okay so let's do our next cutscene. that looks kind of cool nice Tom one thing you can do is just add a simple runner and I think some candles will be nice so we could put some candles Thing about candles is they have a waxy color, obviously, but they get glowy towards the top, right? So you have a typical color like that, and then they just slant down. I like to keep things at 45 degree angles. Look, see, we're getting there. Now here's the thing about a flame, watch this. It's gonna have this color here, it's gonna be white. Now where's the where's a flame the most hottest? It's towards the center. Yep, correct, towards the base. And that's where it's like white hot. And then after that, it gets orange towards the top. Good job, Tom. Merge the layer. Got a nice little valve. And I'm just gonna do some simple flowers. And then you 
darken one side. That looks kind of like a leaf, Thomas. Shut up! It's a rose petal. Check it out. We got ourselves a romantic scene. And I think we could have a wine glass. So let's do a, a wine glass that's spilled and broken. <sighs> Two wine glasses. We want to signify that it's a date. Poor girl. He kind of let her down, didn't he? Select inverse. Got ourselves wine, baby. Look at that. Makes me sad. Just looking at that scene. What are some things we could put on the walls to make this look like a dining room? Family photos. Thank you. Basically what we're trying to do is make the game feel like we're in a location without expending too much energy on creating new stuff. We've got like sheet music. So we'll just put this over here, sort of pin it to the wall. And you see this in the game. I'm not gonna explain it. So there is our dining room table. I like it. I think it's pretty, but it's devastating. It's kind of sad. Good. Well guys, thanks for joining me. I had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I hope that um, you have a great rest of your day. And maybe I'll see you later. Um, stay happy. Stay positive, my friends. Love y'all. Bye.